My takeaway from all this, huh? Never give your all to these people, man. Because you are, they, you, we're not even a name anymore. We're just a number on our truck. Okay? We're just a number. If you're not, your truck is not generating income, is they don't care about that. They're going to replace you. All right? When these people go under, they don't care about whether you got bills to pay or anything. They're looking out for them, number one. And that's it. The heck with their reputation or whatever happens. Mark, right? Mark or Mac? Mac, Mac, Mac. Mac. Hey, Mac. Don't, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot me now. Don't shoot me. No, no, <laughs> Mac, back in the building. Listen, man, you reached out to me via text. You said, "Yo, man, I got another story to tell you." And while at the same time, I go to your TikTok, or your actually your TikTok came in my for you page. So, oh wow, I'm like. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold, hold on. I'm watching the TikTok. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this what he is calling me about? Like, oh, my God. So, Mac, man, give us an update. What's going on with you? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now, hold on. Man, what's going on with me, man? I got kicked off the truck in Alsip, Illinois, last Thursday, brother. For no reason whatsoever, man. I, for what I thought was no reason. I just found out through the grapevine that, yeah, they're they're liquidating, man. They're they're going bankrupt. But uh, this is what they've been doing all week, man. I'm not the only one. I thought I was the only one, and a few other drivers reached out and told me, man, they did me like that three weeks ago, another guy before Christmas. And, yeah, that's what they've been doing. But they're playing a dirty game because – um. You know, you know, uh, you did interview me a while back ago, and I was I was out sick and all that. And I went home and I got my blood pressure right and all that other stuff. I had no business coming back out here, but I had to. And I was only back out here like twelve days, man. You know, and it was I found it ironic that uh, I live in Miami. You hired me out of Miami, but you had me come up here. I'll sip a little pretense that I'm taking the truck to the shop because I did have a, a check engine light on. When I got there, it was a whole other ball game, man. I had a whole bunch of Europeans surrounding me, yeah. basically mocking me that hey, you just been fired. Yeah, that's where that that's how all that started. Wow. So of course you got your health back right. It's I'm working on it. I'm on blood pressure. I'm on blood pressure medication and all that cholesterol and all that good stuff. Okay, but good. I, I'm good. good for a year. I'm good for a year for my medical card now. It was every two years. Now it's been regulated every year. Okay. I'll take but that. it's but it's good that you're getting your your health back right. That's the that's main my concern. Priority. Yeah, that's the priority exactly. and your main concern. Because last time we talked, you was like, you was hit hard, almost taken out. But I'm glad that you're still here and you're concentrating on your health. That's what's up. Thank you, brother. Thank so you. you got back in the truck and the check engine light was going on the truck. It was, uh, yeah, this, this, this light was already on on this truck. But all of a sudden, they just found that some reason that it needed a diagnostic check at a shop in Illinois because it was a... Uh, it was a Western Star, so you know, and that's made by Freightliner. So I, I ran with it. I was thinking it was all on up and up. You know, I drove a load from Massachusetts, Indiana. They they called me, hey, drop the trailer in this yard and Gary, because at the facility you're going to is not big enough to have the whole tractor trailer just bobtail. I went through all that. Now we're gonna find you a load immediately after. You just gotta go in there. They're gonna put the diagnostic thing on and tell us what the fault code is. Okay, this turned out to be an episode of. Uh, Yellowstone with Kevin Costner. You know, when they take you to the train station, <laughs> that's what's going on here. What are you doing? This ain't no goddamn train station. Sure it is. All right, so you, you're you at the shop. You are under the impression that the truck is getting worked on. but Service. Yeah. Or getting service. But who came out to you to let oh, you that? That's it, bro. We Your services are no longer needed in the community. They sent the, uh, they, they, they sent the, um, uh, the fleet manager, he, he showed up about 20 minutes later, but everyone in the shop already knew because they uh, baited me up. I was parked outside, and they said, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the guy made me get out of the truck because, you know, the, the techs always take the trucks into the bay. And they threw my truck right into a bay, closed the door down, and I'm outside. So I went off in the waiting room. And my fleet guy came and says, uh, you know, he's, he's, you know he's, oh, yeah, he's, how are you doing and so on. And then he said, hey, I got some bad news. And he said, uh, you've been let go. And I'm like, Why? He's like, oh, I don't know. I heard the company is downsizing. and they're getting rid of the dry van division, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, man, nah, that, that, that one ain't flying with me. It's not flying with me. And it's the ironic part about it was an hour earlier, I was on the phone with the general manager. And uh, I've been with this company over a year, and I text him, listen, um, what's up my annual raise? Because I did come back out after being sick and all that other stuff. And, and, you know, we had an exchange going back and forth on your performance. 
performance gets better. And I'm like, what performance are you talking about? Uh, you know, I, I'm a company driver who delivers his loads and I'm often late. And then I went back and told him, uh, I'm often late because your dispatchers book loads when I only have four hours left on the clock. And presented to these burglars, I got a full clock. So, you know, I can only run as far as I can and have to make up the rest of that mileage the next day. And that was the last thing that was said. <laughs> I was fired an hour later. So, an hour later. So you was on the phone with the with the owner yes. and you were still under the impression that you was so okay. the fleet manager out of nowhere just shows up and just say, Hey bro, your services are no longer needed. Yeah, because he was the closest one to the uh bowling brook office. And the owner of the of the company didn't even have the balls to let Ooh. you while you were still talking to him over the phone. Nope. Nope. Wow. They've been doing a few other drivers like that, you know, and uh, the funny part about it, they did a girl like that yesterday. Uh, flat better, young girl, flat better. They brought her up to the same place, same company, LIV Enterprises out of Bolingbrook and Candor. Let her go too, under the same pretense your truck needs. If I'm not mistaken, Illinois is an at will state, right? Right. Yeah. But they didn't at least give you the courtesy of, of why yeah. he just gave you the runaround. Nothing, nothing. Nothing until today. Nothing. Nothing. So how did you come by, Mac, of finding out wow. what was really going on with the company? Uh, inside source came to me. You know, I did have friends. Uh, well, it's not friends. It's, you know, coworkers or whoever, like, you know, in, in, in the office who follow me on social media. And someone reached out to me and dropped a, you know, told me what, what it was. So I'm going to really leave that person. I'm going to leave them nameless. Yeah, yeah, well, that ain't no problem. We can leave them yeah, nameless. Well, but what was the conversation between y'all two? The companies, uh, they're broke. They're broke. All right, so they, they've been selling off equipment, and they can't meet payroll. And, you know, and I've noticed a funny pattern that's been paid on Fridays, and then some of them might get paid on Mondays, you know. And that's just the push of a button when you do an ACH deposit. You know, what? why? It's because they don't have the money. And they're running in, they're, they're running in the red right now. That's what's going on. So I guess they started with the whole company division, getting rid of us. We're the least profitable. So are you able to get your last pay from them? They're claiming, okay, because I have $2,500 in escrow. Okay, they were trying to withhold my last paycheck and my escrow for 45 days. But I posted that video last Thursday, and that Friday morning they called me because I guess they didn't expect it. I don't know who was watching it, but somebody reached out and said, hey, Mac dropped the video, and it got a lot of views. So they were talking about, oh, can we help you out with a plane ticket and all that? I said, no, I just want my money. Oh, no, you got to wait 45 days. I said, no, I'm not. That's not going to happen. You know, and I claimed I pulled up a law that they have in Chicago, uh, Illinois Comp 830-something, that states that upon termination, they are required to pay you whatever is owed to you on that pay period. If not, if it can't be met on that time, it has to be the next following pay period. So that's what's going on. But uh, that next day, they did deposit my last check. I woke up in the morning, Saturday morning, I had my money. Now, we're still dealing with the escrow issue, and they're promising I should have that in the next two weeks instead of 45 days because a, a lot of words are thrown around. You know what I'm saying? And I realize, okay, everybody's not the same. You know, I basically tell them I don't want to have to pop up and then we start moving furniture around. Ooh, my man Mac yeah. with the power of social media coming into play, bro. Cause hey. yeah, you came you you came out like yo, bro. They just left me right here in the wind, like for real, for real. Like they kicked me out of the truck. I am stranded here in Alsip, Illinois, right now, with no way home. Like literally. Hey, Max Swagger, man, coming at you uh, live from uh, Chicago, Illinois, man. Listen, I want to tell you about some grimy stuff that just went down right now, bro. The company I was running with, you know, was, a lot of y'all remember a few weeks ago, I posted a video talking about I was done with trucking or whatever. Okay, uh, I went home for about 10 days. I got my blood pressure down. I got on meds, and I qualified to come back on the road. So I came back out on the road, and uh, mind you, uh, I live in Miami, Florida. They had me drive all the way from Massachusetts under the pretense that my truck needed service at the shop, at the dealership. They sent me to some other place, I should have known, red flags. Uh, they threw my truck off in the bay. Yeah, that door right there. And uh, they sent a representative for the company talking about, hey, uh, your service is no longer needed. All this because I inquired about my one year raise today, okay? And they decided just to leave me stranded up here in Chicago, Illinois. 
All right, the name of the trucking company I was running for is called LIV Enterprises out of Bolingbrook, Illinois. You can stay the fuck away from me, bro. I think Serbia's ain't shit. They don't give a fuck about you, they don't care about you, and they never have and never will. Okay? We are disposable for them. Okay? I gave this company blood, sweat, and tears. I almost died. All right, a few weeks ago, a lot of y'all know that. I checked myself out of the hospital to jump off of the truck to make sure that load got there. All right, only to be done like this three weeks later. This is messed up, man. Once again, LIV Enterprises, only for Illinois, man. Stay away from them, man. All right? Thanks for listening, man. Peace. No, I had a way home. It was just, uh, my life was just turned upside down in a matter of two minutes. You know what I'm saying? And then it's right there and there. Your truck is in the shop, and it's just like, Excuse the language. Pack your stuff. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. And I'm in my truck like numb, just back, bagging up my, my overnight bags and taking down stuff and my CD radio. And, you know, and I'm like, what's going on? And I'm trying to play all this back in my head. What did I do? What happened here? You know, this can't be that serious. That after a year of me just running, doing whatever you guys wanted me to do, I'm just expendable like that? No. Yes. Yes, you are. Yeah, yes, you are. Yeah, you well. are expandable, and a lot of a lot of drivers that works for black ops companies, y'all y'all gotta realize that y'all are y'all can be there today and gone tomorrow. I'm merely acting as a gentle reminder. Here today, you're gone tomorrow, so don't get attached to things. Tomorrow, man, and they'll start with somebody fresher than you, dumber, <laughs> and just put them in there. And they'll run with it. I have way too much experience out here, but I'm going on over seven years out here. There's nothing they can tell me. I've been an owner. Well, the video on TikTok, how many views did it gain? 170,000. Wow. 170, plus, and still going. Wow. 1,000 likes, 7,000. I can't even read all the comments, man. Wow. I'm lightweight tripping that the company like literally got got off their ass because of a TikTok video because I know a lot of guys that got let go from companies and of course they do a social media video about it but it didn't Part put a that. battery. Yeah. yeah, it didn't put a battery in the back of the company. The company like and but this company right here, what makes you think why? You know, they already going out. They and if they're going out of business, what what made why do you think they went the route they went with you after after you posted the video? Okay. Uh, they don't want a problem, and I guess, I don't know, they want me to probably cease and desist, hopefully, that, you know, this will all go away, and, uh, you know, because now, from what I understand, there's people from the company actually watching all, watching what I'm posting, and they're reporting back to the general manager, who's in Macedonia, mind you, all right, because, uh, and, you know, it was the power of the, tick, the social media that helped me out, because it was someone on social media that seen what I went through, and they came to my rescue the next day, and I'm in their truck today. Remember, I told you earlier today I was picking up a new truck. I just started working for this man. This man paid for my hotel from last Friday to the day, and he put me in a truck. I never had to leave Chicago. I was unemployed less than 12 hours after that TikTok video. Wow. Shout out to that company, man. Imperial Freight Systems. Imperial Freight Systems out of Indiana, guy. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Max Stewart. So, uh, y'all know about 10 days ago, maybe. I was, uh, I went to a situation out in Chicago where I got, uh, let go by LIV Enterprises for no reason, so I thought. And, uh, left to fend for myself and thanks to the outpouring from all you people on TikTok and all that uh, my team my company picked me up immediately right after my termination shout out to the Pure Freight Systems I am in the truck today and I'm in currently in Laredo Texas right now man that's what's up man that's that is what's up guy came through I didn't believe him so let's talk about that you did the video the video went viral your version of viral that company imperial seen the video seen what you was going through what was what was the reach out by them to you about it was asking me hey i seen what just went on and you know apparently they knew of this company that i just left too and this is not you know they wouldn't explain it this is not a, this is a normal tactic this has been going on for a while and i'm like okay so, and the guy reached out to me, I, I can offer you this, and, you know, and we talked over the phone about the rates and whatever, the, the price per week on this truck and all this other stuff with the option to buy, and everything was really good. You know, it sounded good to me. It was, like, too good to be true. And, you know, I'm like, all right, I was unemployed just a few hours ago, but now, you know, I see, I see daylight again. So, and the guy said, to show you how serious I am, you know, where are you at? I gave the address to the motel I was at, and he showed up 15 minutes later. 
We spoke in the parking lot some more at length about, you know, the job description, you know how that goes. And he went right off into the office, man, and threw his card in and paid my, paid my room and gave me some cash to eat with while I was sitting. I, 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 I had a free vacation in Chicago for about six days. Okay. Okay. All Shout expense, out. All expense paid trip, man. All right. All right. Shout out. What's, what's the name of the company again? Imperia. I-M-P-E-R-A. Imperia Freight Systems. All right. All right. Shout out to them, man. That's what's up. Coming coming to you in the clutch. That's that Chef Curry with the shot. Being Steph Curry with the shot. I'm telling you, man. I was like, okay. But that's what they got going on right now. They got everybody coming up to that fictitious address out there in Owlsip, which is a mechanic shop. And any form of live drive, any drive, any drivers out there for live right now, they tell you to go to that address on Crestwood. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to get fired. That's where they have you drop your truck off right there. So you say not only yourself, but there have been a few other drivers as well. You said a, a female flatbed driver was just yesterday. 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 I picked her up too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wow. met her today. I met her today. He took her to go drop her off and I'll go do a drug test. But yeah. She got there yesterday and he picked her up immediately. And I'm like, okay, that's what's up. But yeah, this guy in Peria, he's helped out a few former uh, LIV drivers. All right, now again, what's the name of the company that that you just left? What is it? LIV. L. Logistics and Vision. I. I. V. V. Like v. Z. Logistic and Vision. V. V. Right? Oh, V as in Victor. So L. I as I, in v. L as in Larry. India. I India. India. V as in Victor. And V as in Victor. Okay. Out of and, Bolingbrook, Illinois. And they live enterprises, enterprises, and they, and they, and they pretty much is, is liquidating pretty much going under pretty much quietly. Yes. Quietly. Okay. Yeah. You don't, you, you don't think they're going to, they're going to formulate up under a different name or they just pretty much getting, they have another one. They have, they have a sister company called next carrier. So I don't know what they're going to do with that one. Yeah, they have another. You know how they do. They'll let one run into the ground and start another one. Well, run even another, even another with authority, another MC number. Even with that, they didn't even offer you to go over to 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 their sister company. No, no. I guess I hurt the I, I I hurt the guy's feelings, man. When I told him about my raise, you know, because I just make a comment to him, please, man. I've been doing this a long time. Don't insult my intelligence. If you're not going to give it to me, just say so. But that was that was the last thing I was saying. An hour later, I was terminated. He didn't like the way I spoke to him. I guess. All because you asked for your raise. After a year, I was entitled. I was entitled. To yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would think so, at least after, after a year. Yeah. If you advertise on your advertisement yeah. that you that you would get a raise after yeah. after a year, a raise, a vacation. And it's not even a raise, but it was a five cents per mile increase, which is nothing. What was that going to get me? An extra hundred and fifty dollars a week? Man, it wasn't that serious. They were barely they were barely able to keep me running. I was doing maybe twenty two hundred miles a week and bringing home maybe fourteen fifteen hundred dollars a week. I'm like, I can go home. So, do you think that the other people was let go because of the same reason? Yeah, yeah. From what I, I thought it at that moment when I got terminated or whatever, let go, however you want to call it, because I've never been terminated from anywhere. I usually quit, but. Uh, yeah, I thought it was me. Then I found out this has been going on for a little while now. I mean, they they got me. They got another guy on Friday. And then I found out yesterday there's a girl and some other people before me. So and they, they knew this was coming. Actually, the way if you play it out, because uh, I was in Massachusetts, and they were already telling me come to Chicago under that pretense of, you know, the check engine light. I guess me just asking the boss an hour before I got to the location was the final straw. Or, you know, it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't sit right with me. It sit right. You know, it was no offer. How do you, you know, what are you going to do? We'll get you home. It was none of that. I mean, they didn't even show up. Like I said, they sent a representative out there who didn't have a clue. He was just a messenger. He had nothing to offer me. It's like, yeah, I'm here to get the keys of the truck. That was basically it. And I'm looking at him. I'm angry. I want to hurt somebody. But, you know, cooler heads prevail, right? I just packed my stuff. I called an Uber and went to the nearest hotel three miles down the road. And I said, I'll figure this out tomorrow. It was five o'clock in the evening when I got fired. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, you know, my, my my brain was fogged up, and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not even going to think about renting a car right now because I could, like I said, I could have got home. That's not even an issue. That's not an issue. But it played out the way it did, and, and it worked out in my benefit, you know. Oh, Mac, for that particular reason right there is the reason why I keep reiterating the same thing over and over again. Number one, pack light. Number two, have money and a credit card. I, I always, keep, always. I, I keep I, pushing I, that. I, I have that narrative right always. there for that exact reason. Exactly. 
Um, imagine, imagine somebody that didn't have no money in and how they was going to get to a hotel or get a car or whatever the case that they need to, to at least get home. For that reason right there, representative just came out of nowhere. Sorry. Your services are no longer needed. Hand me the keys. And he's, right, he's driving unpack, off of your truck. <laughs> he's driving. Un unpack your he's stuff. He's off of the truck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, unpack you're your stuff, and, and you're your on stuff. the side of the road, Uber. right? Wait for an Uber. And he's, he just pulled off in your truck, and you're like, what just happened? What just happened? You, hey, guys, you, you, know, you like don't even have no money for, you don't even have no money for an Uber. That's crazy. That's, That's why crazy. I keep telling everybody. I, watching, I, mean, watch, I watch your super ego stories, too. <laughs> yeah. That's why they I keep telling. Movies just like they are. That's why I keep telling everybody they they they, they keep falling for the banana in the tailpipe. You're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> oh, the company gonna no. take care of me. Oh, nah. okay, okay. Nah. They, they'll they'll they leave got, you they, stranded they right themselves. there. They'll leave you stranded right there on the road, bro, and wouldn't give two like, shakes about you. Nope, nope. Like I said, it wasn't until after the post on social media that they reached out. What can we do to get you home? I said I can't fly because I got way too many things. All right, I got a microwave, I got a TV, and I got a place. I got three uh, overnight, but I have so much stuff to put on a plane. Okay, well, we can help you with $200 for a rental car. That was a, come on, a rental car from Chicago to Miami? Nah, $200 is not going to cover that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, I'm good. Just pay me what you owe me, and I'll figure, you, I'll figure it out from there. And I'll figure it out from there. Well, Mac, I'm, I'm glad you reached back out to me to tell me the crazy story. Hey, man. my call again. Not a problem, bro. What, what's your takeaway from all of this, man? My takeaway from all this, huh? Never give your all to these people, man. If you are today, you, we're not even a name anymore. We're just a number on our truck, okay? We're just a number. If you're not, your truck is not generating income, they don't care about that. They're going to replace you, all right? When these people go under, they don't care about whether you got bills to pay or anything. They're looking out for them, number one. And that's it. The heck with their reputation or whatever happened. You know, they'll figure it out later. Like I said, you'll probably start with another company and under another identity and so on and so on. And on to the next victim. That's all we are out here. All right. The truck. Keep, keep up the good work, bros. Keep your health together. And uh, we'll, we'll get bed together in another one. Thank you, my brother. All right, man. You take it easy. All right, man. Same to you, man. Yes, sir. All right. Bye. There's so many battles on my left and my right. Hey, take a shot for all of your problems. Ain't worry about them tonight. It's called shot burning.